Hi guys, so this week I am 28 weeks pregnant. We're really getting there now, so I'm starting to feel um, a bit more confident, but I still don't believe I'm going to bring her home. Um, that's something that I still don't believe, but I am going to have to start sorting things because basically George was born at 33 weeks due to something called placenta previa. So if that happened again, um, then I literally only have five weeks left to sort everything because I've been putting everything off. So today, what I want to do is I want to kind of make a bit of a list about all the things that I need to do. And also, I noticed something that I really want, but I just can't justify the price. So I'm going to make a wicker changing basket. I've seen them online, um, ranging from around 50 to 70 pounds. I just thought, I just can't pay that. I don't know, it just doesn't sit well with me. So what I've decided to do is me and George are going to make our own this weekend and we're going to make it together. Uh, I'm not crafty at all and George is very highly strung. So it could be fun, uh, it could be terrible or it might go okay. 28 weeks though, everything is going fairly smoothly, um, went to the hospital, had a scan, baby is growing absolutely perfectly. So that was a relief. Every time I go to these scans, I'm just absolutely terrified. They're just, oh, I don't know, I just, I think it's since getting bad news in there, no matter how many scans I have, I will never be comfortable with scans. To go from 21 weeks where our baby had zero chance of survival to now be at 28. Don't quote me on these. I've read them from different sources on the internet. But the one that I like to go to um, is Tommy's. Um, I use those quite a lot. And each week I'm checking where, if she was born this week, right, what would happen? What am I to expect? What does she, will she look like? And it just gets me kind of used to what I may see. A bit worried about getting covid um, I, I know I've had my jabs. It's been two weeks now since my jabs, which is really good. And I've just been researching about getting COVID. And actually, if Danny or I were to get COVID, he wouldn't be able to come to the birth, um, which I'm quite scared for anyway, because I'm like a baby. And also, if she did need neonatal care, we wouldn't be able to go and see her in the neonatal unit. So and just know how hard it was for me mentally when I didn't get to see George for only a couple of days. Um, it just really felt like a lifetime and it felt like he wasn't mine. So imagine two weeks like that. I mean, I couldn't cope with it. I don't know. So I just decided that it's time, like, we need to really kind of keep ourselves to ourselves, really. So anyway, we're going to do this wicker basket this weekend, see how that turns out. And hopefully we won't end up having a big argument about it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go on Facebook Marketplace and find a old Moses basket free or cheap that I can use as the changing basket. And then I'm going to run through how it works. George and I are going to do it together, this DIY thing. I'm the least DIY type person. Is that DIY? type person the least crafty person you've probably ever seen in your life i've sewed one thing in my life it was meant to be a koala took it home to my mum and she thought it was a dog i mean they do look fairly similar don't they i love the idea of crafting hate doing it i've got no patience so this is going to be a real challenge but i'm up to the challenge so i am going to go and have a look on facebook marketplace to find a Moses basket. So you want to get a soft Moses basket like that. 
if you can see one that you can cut not a hard one like this that's too hard you don't want one of those we should start selling some i know i know you want to do you want to yeah. get money yeah we'll be rich we might hello hello Hey, hello. Oh, hel hello! <laughs> George thinks I say that every time I do a video. I don't, by the way. Um, but George likes to take the mick out of me. So, okay. I mean, these lovely changing mats um, that are made from wicker um, on the internet. But they're like £70. And I think, I just can't do it. I can't justify it. <coughs> um, so, we bought an old Moses basket I've from a lovely a lady on Facebook Marketplace for £5. And but I have got a little bit of a cold. Oh, what's that? I've got a little bit of a cold. George has a little bit of a cold. So we're going to do a video about this wicker basket. But I can't tell them. Not what whisker, I'm doing. wicker. You can tell them what we're doing. But this is about here. So we want to. Until it's weekend. Yes, and it's weekend. So um, this is an old I'm Moses basket from from marketplace. It was five pounds. And we want to make a wicker basket. So, what we're going to do we're at first is we're going to oh, we're going to take the handles off. Now, I am the least crafty person probably on earth. So this You're could not go crafty. Yeah, exactly. So this could go horribly wrong. But first of all, is we're going to take the handles off. So, George, could you pass me those scissors, please? Right. Okay. So what I'm going to start by doing is cutting the handles off first of all. George is going to do some cutting shortly. I'm just doing this bit. Here. Even though I'm five. Yeah, even though he's five, but with his mum's supervision. It's just, I need to try and get these off. Maybe it's easier if I pull all this out first. Cut all this out. This is just not used. And I need to try and unscrew these. Are you, I'll actually, help. You can't. I'll help. Yeah, do you want to try and unscrew one of those? Easy. As you can see, a screwdriver is is turning it mm -hmm. opposite this radiator. Yeah. Can you see the screwdriver coming up? Can you see the screw coming up? Yeah. We're just going to flip it over and do the other side in a minute. Is it quite easy with this one? <laughs> when it's facing downwards, it's easier. Done. Is it this way? Yeah. Just keep turning it. Keep it in the grooves. This way is quite easy. I don't want to do it the hard way. Next time there's one of them in, I can unscrew Well, you it did way. unscrew most of it. I wouldn't have been able to do it without you. Now, as you can see now, we've got a plain basket. Let me just do this. Show you the plain basket. Okay, so what we need to do now is try and get the handles off first of all. So we're going to turn it upside down. And I'll help. And George is going to help get the handles off. Ugh, I'll try here. Yeah, that bit. You see that string there? Carefully your finger, please. That's it. I think it's going. Figured out that once you cut the string, you can actually un unravel it. All the way down. So we've got oh, the first we've got some on the bottom. handle. Bottom. It's all right. Got the first handle off, finally. So it's like George said. What's it like, George? I'm um, unsewing. Unsewing. So undoing the thread. So he's got one handle off. Oh, string. And what we have to do now is, as you can see, off. there's more string in the bottom. So we're just a case of cutting it, then unravelling it again. 
And George is excited to make this change in basket, aren't you? Yes. Can you get me the scissors? Yes. And we got one handle done. Yay, both handles done. All done. So now we just have the actual basket. So let me just show you what's left, George. There we go. Good job, George. Now what do we do? These are all the bits that we took off. So you basically cut them and then unravel Wait, them. So this is the basket. Now, so what we're going to do now is we're going to cut five up. So to turn it, George. Yeah, what do you mean? Count from five, from the bottom, five. So, one, one two, two, three, three four, four, five. five. It's that one. So, we're going to cut across now. Right, so now we've cut that. Take that off, George. And what we're left with, this, that was, that was hard, but that's so exactly how we want Even it to look. George, so we're going to tidy it up now. Is there? Yeah. Now we're left with these bits along the top, can you see? So what we're going to do is unthread those so, so that it becomes smooth for the baby all the way round. So George is working on that side. I'm working on this side. So now we've pulled all of these bits off. You can see the top is a lot smoother for baby. And we're left. So it's gonna be sharp. With this. <laughs> 